two years ago, Judy Barron called me because Judy's a local artist and a survivor of the Holocaust. Judy's from Hungary originally, and she is a watercolorist and artist, and she painted pictures from a book called Children of a Vanished World. So Judy calls me and says, I have these paintings, and what should I do with them? So I said, I told them about the Fagan Museum in Granite Falls, and I said, why don't I talk to Ron and Diane? And maybe they'll find a way to exhibit the pictures. Now when the Fagans embark on any project, they complete it to the nth degree, both details large and small, as you can see when you go to the museum. You have the paintings all beautifully framed, you have the voiceover, you have the background about her life, and you have the people in the earphones, and they can go and listen and learn about Judy's art and her story against the backdrop of the larger story that they tell about the Holocaust. I have always liked painting, even as a child. I, I had lots of paintings that I left, and I'm sure they got lost somehow, because everything else did get lost. Even in Sweden, I could not afford to get any uh, paints or things like that, but I used watercolors, and I was painting a little bit. Then when I came to the United States, I started going to classes. So I painted in oils and in acrylics and in watercolors. There was a man named Roman Wisniak who knew that things were going badly and sort of snuck into Romania and Poland and Hungary in little villages where Jews lived. He took pictures, and then when he came out, he printed these pictures and stories in books, in black and white. And I had some of his books, and I looked at this one with the children. And because I was a child myself, I just got so involved with trying to paint them. And I got to 18 of those. And in Hebrew, 18 means hal, and that means life. So I was thinking maybe some of them survived like myself. First of all, there weren't a lot of survivors of the Holocaust. An even smaller subset of people and less number of survivors of the Holocaust were artists, right? An even smaller subset of people are survivors of the Holocaust who were artists who later in life decided it was part of their life's journey to paint or to in a way recreate their experience. And so she did, using these Roman Vishniak photographs as her backdrop. There's a whole artistic form and conversion of photography to painting. And probably much of her emotion and much of the way she views her life is expressed in that transformation. There aren't many chances for people from Granite Falls or most places to meet a survivor of the Holocaust. And maybe a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. Maybe in that moment, or maybe in that hour, or maybe in that two hours, it's a life-forming or a life-changing experience. Again, we go back to thanking the Fagans and all those responsible for creating such moments. Those are classic educational moments, teaching moments. That's what they are. It's a wonderful opportunity. It is so important for children to learn history and to see the good things that happen and the bad things like the Holocaust. And then 
try to live the life of the good side and be kind to people and respect each other. Visit pioneer.org slash postcards to catch up on missed episodes and to find out more about your favorite segments. Postcards is made possible by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota. Additional support provided by Margaret A. Cargill Philanthropy, Mark and Margaret Yakel Julie on behalf of Shalom Hill Farms, a retreat and conference center in a prairie setting near Wyndham, Minnesota, on the web at shalomhillfarm.org, Alexandria, Minnesota, a year-round destination with hundreds of lakes, trails, and attractions for memorable vacations and events. More information at explorealex.com. The Lake Region Arts Council's Arts Calendar, an arts and cultural heritage funded digital calendar showcasing upcoming art events and opportunities for artists in West Central Minnesota. On the web at lrac4calendar.org.